Continue to follow news out of Springfield as a double homicide investigation is underway. We're learning that the apartment on Union Street where the victims were found was vacant and the building is owned by Springfield Gardens. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell now joins us live with the story. Kristen. Matt, as you're aware, there has been several security issues and concerns at Springfield Gardens owned apartments across the city. Now, city leaders tell me that something needs to be done to make that part of the city more safe. Yesterday, uh, it is as tragic as it is. It's not an uncommon occurrence in that in one particular area. A double homicide in Springfield on Wednesday has a community on edge. And now city leaders are calling for change. I've been hurt from multiple people who live in do business in an area and they're quite concerned about it. City Councilor Melvin Edwards is the president of the Neighborhood Council, where the still unidentified victims were discovered early Wednesday morning. Springfield police say upon arriving at the scene, officers entered a Union Street apartment and found two people dead. Gunshots were fired near the crime scene at the intersection of school and High Street less than two hours later, barely missing three police officers. Springfield Police Superintendent Cheryl Clapproot confirms that the apartment was supposed to be vacant and the building is owned by Springfield Gardens. If apartments should be vacant, we're going to make sure they're vacant and secure them. That's been an issue that has been raised by tenants of Springfield Gardens for oh, more, too long, um, that people are using unoccupied apartments. They are going to the bathrooms. They are, I mean, uh, in the hallways, in the basement, doing drugs and all types of things. Over the past year, Western Mass News has reported on several incidents involving safety issues at Springfield Gardens apartments throughout the city. Superintendent Clapperud tells us they have asked management for a list of tenants at the building to help with their investigation. We asked if they were being cooperative. We've had some issues with them and their security, so, you know, it's time to get things straightened out. Uh, this is dangerous. Somebody's going to get hurt. And Councillor Edwards says the number one priority remains to keep the people of Springfield safe. It's my hope that, you know, the city and, uh, and the people in the police department and the other agencies that do service in the city can come together and figure out some solutions. Now, we did reach out to Springfield Gardens for a comment today, but we have not yet heard back. An investigation remains ongoing into the double homicide. Reporting live in Springfield, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News.